Hi, and welcome to another session uh, on business communication. In this session, we're going to talk about the remaining topics in relation to interview. So let's proceed. In this tutorial lecture, we're going to talk about uh, conducting an interview by the interviewer, preparations to be made by the interviewer, and mistakes to be avoided by interviewer, following by attending an interview by interviewee, preparations to be made by the interviewee, and mistakes to be avoided by the interviewee. So let's proceed to our first lecture for today. Conducting the interview. Now, this is the responsibility of the interviewer to conduct the interview. But before conducting the interview, it's pretty much important for the interviewer to understand and realize that what is the purpose of uh, arranging interview. And also he should think about that what are the success points how he could just arrange or conduct a very much successful interview. Beside this, this is also the responsibility of the interviewee. It means in an interview with two parties, interviewer and interview, interviewee. And this is their joint and shared responsibility to be fully and perfectly prepared for interview and then conduct an interview. But more responsibility is uh, towards the interviewer to make all those uh, steps possible to make the interview a successful process. Now, what's the preparation to be made by the interviewer? So the interviewer needs to make the following preparations. And these preparations are very much important uh, for the process of the interview, for the successful uh, process of the interview which should be taken into account by the interviewee, interviewer. Sorry. The first one is arrangement of place, time, and questions. So this is the first responsibility, and this is the first point the interviewer should be ready for and prepared for, to arrange a place, time, and questions. And the interviewer must decide the best place and time for the interview. And it should report or uh, interact or communicate the time of the interview in the place of the interview to the interviewee. Because this is, you know, the responsibility which goes to the interviewer and also about the place that there should be all possible facilities which are required for the interview. And proceeding to the questions, uh, the interviewer should arrange uh, questions. Uh, he can arrange or she can arrange uh, you know, multi-type of questions or there might be you no know, yes-no questions, there might be open-ended questions or close-ended questions and so on. So the questions uh, should be arranged uh, before the interview. Then acquiring job-related information in general uh, knowledge, which is very much important that the interviewer should have, you know, general knowledge regarding uh, the, the job interview that he is conducting. If the interviewer wants uh, the process to be successful, so he should have, you know, like, like you know, enough information about the job regarding uh, the job type, uh, responsibility of the job, requirements of the job, the number of vacancies which are going to be filled uh, by the interviewee. So how many, how many, uh, you know, interviewees uh, are going to be interviewed and also how many, uh, you know, uh, staff members or persons should be hired. So in relation to job, these questions are pretty much important that uh, these, these uh, you know, processes or these preparations should be done by the uh, interviewer. On the other hand, it's important for the interviewer to go through the resumes because uh, normally, you know, like, like lots of uh, yeah, interviewer, interviewees, they are sending their CVs through and uh, the selection is limited. It means, you know, uh, the number of uh, employees to be selected or the number of uh, interviewees to be selected. So it depends on the number of vacancies. But normally, it's, it's like, like uh, a tradition that we get uh, lots of uh, interviewees or we, we get to you know lots of candidates that they are sending their uh, documents in their CVs because, uh, you know, it's, it's a very competitive, uh, uh, you know, situation. Uh, so that's why it's important for the interviewer that while he is scanning uh, the resumes 
and before you know conducting the interview sessions with the uh, interviewees so this is kind of uh, you know like a preparation for the interviewer to scan uh, all those CVs and all those resumes uh, which they receive in order to find or in order to 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 separate those resumes and CVs which are best uh, suitable for the job uh, that's announced by uh, the organization uh, so it depends on you know the requirements of the organization that they are selecting people based on experience or knowledge so what are their other requirements so all these requirements should be scanned in the CVs of the interviewees the next point is recording the proceedings uh, recording the proceedings means that uh, normally the interviewers uh, they're taking like a tap or they're having you know like like you know different technological equipments or they're writing uh, the interview sessions or taking some notes uh, about you know the questions and answers uh, session which happens you know between the two parties uh, which is pretty much important uh, for making the better decision and also for selecting the right candidate now there are some mistakes that normally uh, happens in the interview session uh, sometimes you know these mistakes are made by the interviewer and sometimes you know mistakes are made by the interviewee but this time around we're going to talk and discuss the mistakes to be avoided by the interviewer the first one is not letting the candidate to speak so in in most occasions or in many occasions it happens that the interviewer is uh, found or keen to speak more and not letting the candidate uh, to talk a lot uh, in, in, in you know this practice should be defeated because of the because of what the goal of interview is to gain information not to give uh, information so interviewer wants to get information or get in again information from the interviewee so not to give information so that's why the interviewee should be uh, you know given more chance to talk and the main objective of the interview uh, should be uh, achieved by the interviewer to get more knowledge to get uh, you know more required information from the interviewee in order to make the best possible uh, decision second point not using the language of the candidates mostly it happens that the candidate uh, who is uh, giving the interview or the interviewer so they have you know differences in language the candidate is speaking a separate or a different language so this is a kind of mistake in panel there should be an interviewer that he should speak the language of the candidate if there is no restriction regarding the language such as language should be used in which the candidate feels easy in free third arguing with the candidates this is another serious problem that mostly uh, it happens that the interviewer are arguing while asking a question and getting a response from the interviewee if it's not satisfactory for you so you can mark him or her low but there is no need for arguing in, in, in making the session more like, like a serious uh, matter. So the purpose of the interview is to evaluate the candidate and to get information from the candidate. So it's not about you know, solving a dispute or making a dispute or making you know, argumentation conversation or making a serious conversation. So these things sh should be avoided. Number four, interrupting the candidates which is another uh, mistakes that the interviewer uh, they are uh, doing it so th they should let the candidate to be free in talk uh, more discuss uh, more things you know in a smooth way so the candidate is already under a lot of pressure we know that uh, while the interviewee is uh, attending an interview going to a session so there is a psychological uh, pressure on him uh, or on her so so this is this is you know like like the interviewer responsibility to make the environment uh, pretty much relax and easy uh, for the interviewee and uh, do not interrupt the candidate time to time the fifth option that's controlling the emotions so during the interview there are many stages on which the interviewers might get emotional so it's important for the interviewer to control the emotion during the interview interview and make uh, the proceedings in situations quite easy and smooth the last mistake to be avoided by the interviewer is keeping personal bias so sometimes it happens that the one 
who who is going to attend the interview so the interviewer may have you know like like some personal problems with him uh, so during the interview those personal problems and issues or conflicts uh, should not be brought to the interview session so it should be kept aside uh, there is no need for personal bias uh, there might be like like you know a kind of uh, a bias that actually uh, it is just you know like like you know uh, making a failure in the process of the interview so in order uh, to make you know the interview fair he should advise these problems in these personal bias now it comes to attending the interview by the interviewee right so uh, normally while while the interviewee is attending the interview so there are some 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 sort of preparations uh, which should be made by uh, the interviewee in order to compete well in order to present his skills uh, in a better way uh, in order in order to get or uh, you know uh, like like you know boost his chances more for gaining the job so uh, it's it's quite important for the interviewee uh, to to just you know reach to the place of interview on time to present you know some some great communication skills and also some great listening skills uh, during the interview and and try to have you know like like perfect preparation uh, go over there and just you know try to to get you know good scores and and compete quite well in order to gain the opportunity of starting uh, the job. Now what are the preparations that uh, should be uh, taken into account or the interviewee should make a list and just prepare himself for those points so a candidate needs to prepare at various levels it means you know there are there are several uh, levels for the interviewee uh, in order to to prepare you know himself for the interview like the interviewee should uh, arrange or prepare himself physically uh, mentally psychologically uh, he should be ready for uh, in order to 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 perform you know the interview session in a better way uh, in, in in just you know increase the chances of getting the job so so that's that's kind of preparation that the interviewee should do it so let's tell you know those preparations uh, which should be done by the interviewee before conducting uh, attending the interview uh, the first one that's the physical preparation so for the interviewee it's quite important to have you know physical preparation which means like a uh, good formal dress it's it's a very much you know important thing because you know it's it's like uh, part of the nonverbal communication so your dress is communicating your personality your dress is just giving you uh, like like kind of confidence uh, during the interview uh, the next is posture so it's it's about that you know how the interviewer should sit in the in the place of the interview so he should just you know follow the right posture uh, during the interview in in present in a good manner on the other side there is the mental preparation of the interview uh, interviewee so interviewee should prepare himself mentally for the interview so what are the steps in mental preparation revise the subject knowledge it means that the interviewee understands that he is going to attend the interview in during the interview questions related to a subject will be asked because you know uh, normally in the interviews their goals uh, are quite clear uh, you know some some sort of information you know the interview we have about the interviews that what is the interview about what are you know the area or the field that he is going to attend the interview so just try to work on that field just try to have you know enough knowledge and required information about that field so this is you know like like a kind of mental preparation get information about the current affairs and important issues because you know sometime in interview there might be some technical questions and also less technical questions or some specific questions to the field or some general questions so about the current affairs or about the important issues uh, the interviewer will ask you questions so you need to work on that that what are the current issues in important issues in affairs going on information about the company so the interviewee has to prepare himself and also work out on the company to get you know information about the the nature of the company about the establishment of the company about the honor of the company the vision and mission of the company so he can get these kind of informations from the journals from from books uh, from the company website and also to learn about the products and services that the company is offering 
and also about the competitors. Because, you know, it's, it's normally a question that the interviewer is asking from the interviewee uh, that what do you know about our company or what about our, our products? If you are keen to join our organization, so it means, you know, you must know about us. You, you must know about our services, about products, about our vision, in, about our goals and objectives. So it's a mental preparation that how good you are, how good you know about our company. So that will, you know, uh, the interviewee will answer the questions. And also prepare for some general and personal questions. Uh, the interviewee can work out and just, you know, prepare a kind of profile that, you know, what are the general questions might be asked? Those questions which are common in, in, you know, most of the interviews. Like, why did you leave your previous job? What's your work experience? Uh, why should we hire you? There are lots of questions, general questions will be asked. And also about personal questions, about your previous job experience, why did you quit the previous job? So uh, much more, or might be asked you about, you know, your strength, uh, your, your weaknesses. So, so it, that's quite important that you should be ready for these kind of questions. On the other hand, uh, hand there are psychological preparations for the interviewee. Like, like you know, this is a kind of a responsibility of the interviewee to practice honesty, to give, you know, uh, all answers honestly. And also the interviewee should show uh, great determination, great power in, uh, in, in trust uh, for the job that he's going to attend the interview for. There are some mistakes uh, that, uh, which are on the interviewee side, uh, that the interviewee should avoid these mistakes uh, in a job interview. The first one is showing up late. Normally it happens that most of the interviewees, they're not considering time as important. So it's important that we should reach to the interview place or venue on time. Keeping your phone on, that's, that's kind of really bad a habit of the interviewees that they're just keeping their phone on. And what's the worst about that whenever they receive a phone call, right, uh, during the session of the interview, and then, then answer that call. So this is, this is pretty much uh, kind of, you know, like, like, you know, irritating for the interviewers. Uh, so the, keep, the, the phone should be kept off. A limp handshake. Normally, uh, you know, during the interview session, while the interviewer is, uh, you know, shaking hands or the interviewee is just trying to limp handshake, not, not shaking hand firmly. So it's, it's a kind of uh, mistake that uh, the interviewee is doing. Uh, interview best friends. So in most cases, it happens that where we are going to attend the interview, the interviewer might be our friend. So there should be kind of, you know, like, like you know, a professional gap should be uh, kept in mind. Even though on the other side of the table, the one who is uh, conducting the interview from us and he is our best friend but that is not like like a kind of social context that is like like a kind of formal uh, context informal context so the friendship should not be considered the formal uh, the formal for you know formal context should be considered and also you know formality is the most important so we shouldn't act like that we are friend and we should not make it like a friendly uh, kind of session you know it should be a formal session ignoring body language Either we are ignoring body language that much that we are not using body language at all or either we are exaggerating. So the body language should be kept in level, overdressed or maybe underdressed. While we are, uh, or the interviewees, uh, they are preparing themselves for the interview. So they should avoid overdress too much, you know, like, like, you know, uh, dress. And also it shouldn't be underdress, uh, which, which, which does not suit, you know, the interviewee to wear that kind of dress for the interview. So these mistakes should be avoided by the interviewee.